In an effort to conserve more water, Nevada lawmakers have proposed a bill that could force homeowners with septic tanks to convert to a municipal sewer. Our Shakira Hawkins spoke with concerned residents at a workshop surrounding the bill. If Assembly Bill 220 passes, homeowners with septic tanks will have to pay up to cover the cost to convert them to sewer lines, but some say they don't have the money to foot the bill. On Wednesday, hundreds of Valley residents voiced their concern about Assembly Bill 220. If passed, thousands of property owners with septic systems would be forced to pay up the cost to convert their system. If they want me to take two septic tanks out of my house, let them pay for it. The outreach manager for the Southern Nevada Water Authority, Bronson Mack, says the bill is another way to conserve water in the valley. And really, this is all a matter of increasing our water efficiency. All of the water that is used in a septic system is consumed, whereas the water that goes into the sanitary sewer system gets recycled and returned back to Lake Mead, and we're just looking to maximize our water resources. It prohibits new septics anywhere Colorado River water resources are used to help alleviate the problem felt with the endangered river. The Southern Nevada Health District will prioritize properties with septic tanks that are adjacent to the sewer system. They would require to convert first starting at 20 feet to 400 feet. Bridget Solvey says even though her property is more than 400 feet from a sewer line, she fears of new development. Well, our house is designed specifically, we try to think forward to that future date, uh, but still it's going to be a huge expense. The bill will require the conversion program to fund 85 percent of the connection cost, which will be funded by the SNHD. Deadline for properties vary depending on how close you are to the sewer system. SNHD aims to finish the conversions by 2054. In Las Vegas, I'm Shakira Hawkins.